Okay, for this listening portion, we're gonna watch another video and this one is called The Millennial Question. Uh, you are not millennials. You're te technically speaking Generation Z, I think is what they have named you. But when you watch this video, he's gonna describe the way that other generations looked at the millennial generation. And I'm gonna tell you right now that other generations look at your generation much the same. Uh, so listen to this video. Uh, I'll give you a couple of examples that we, we had a teacher in service meeting and one of the speakers was an expert in Generation Z, which is bizarre if you think about it, that they need somebody to be an expert in how to work your generation. It's bizarre. Uh, but she told us, if you're going to make a PowerPoint, you have to have a picture on every single page. Otherwise, the, you'll lose them. They won't pay attention. So I did some experiments last school year and tried both ways. And sure enough, it doesn't even matter what picture I put. I could put a picture of a ketchup bottle and I'll still hold your attention. But if I only have things written on the PowerPoint, you're gone, right? It's not because you have an inability to focus or concentrate. It's because you live in a digital world. And when you're online, there are ads popping up all the time. And so you, your, your brain has been trained to watch for that next thing and follow the picture. So it's not because there's anything wrong with you. It's because of the way that you have grown up where generations before didn't have that. And so we don't, we don't feel the need to see a picture with everything that we see. Some people look at that and say, well, it's because your generation is lazy or uh, you know, all of them have ADD and they can't focus on any. And it's kind of bizarre because the same people that are making fun of you are putting the, the digital devices in your hand and saying, here you go, play on this. So it's kind of strange. But I want you to watch this video and he's going to talk about the question of this new digital age because we are changing the way that our brains work and the way that we function in society, the way that we function toward each other because we live in a digital world. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not necessarily a good thing. It's just a thing, right? But the fact is, it's the direction that we're headed. And so we have to consider what does that do and what does it look like? So I want you to watch this video. I think it's 15 minutes long, uh, but it's good. I mean, do your best to follow, follow along in this one because he makes some really, really, really great uh, arguments against and for the millennial generation. That was the one that came before, before yours. Um, after the video is over, I want you to discuss as a group, and again, as a reminder, this is the speaking and listening group. So you need to participate. It's not enough to just sit back and watch everything happen around you. Everybody needs to be an active participant. So take turns speaking, be kind to one another, allow everyone a chance to speak. Don't dominate the conversation over other people. If you disagree uh, on opinions, then state where you come from and be open-minded enough to hear somebody else's opinion and be open to the fact that you might be wrong. And if you're not, great, but they have a right to be wrong if they want to. So be kind to each other. Discuss this video. What are the takeaways? Were there things that stood out to you that were interesting? Were there things that you just plain disagree with? Were there things that you go, wow, I hadn't thought of it, but he's right on you know, whatever aspect. Have that discussion, work your way through it. And then I want you to talk about the role of phones in school. There, this is a heated debate that's not gonna go away anytime soon. As teachers, one of the things that we are graded on is our use of technology in the classroom. And a lot of teachers automatically say, oh, that means I need to let my students use their cell phones. My experience has been that there's far more damage that comes from cell phones than any good. Uh, even if a cell phone's sitting out on a table, that's enough to distract the entire group and I've lost you, right? Uh, that's just my experience. Not because a phone is bad, not because you're bad, because it's the nature of the phone. They are designed to be addictive, right? So I want you to discuss that, the merits of cell phones in the school. Do they have a place? Do they not? 
debate that issue a little bit and come up with some reasons on both sides. I think you have valid arguments on both sides of that, of that debate. And then I want you to um, imagine a, a world, a school, <coughs> where, excuse me, where cell phones are used only to help learning. What would that look like? Because we both know right now that's not the case. Right now, cell phones serve to distract, right? It's so that you can text your friends in the middle of class. Or when you get on to look for something else, pretty soon you're down the, the rabbit hole of, of TikTok or Instagram and you're gone because you're now living in the digital world. I think they're a huge detract, detractor from uh, education. That's my opinion, right? But talk about that. If there were a perfect school, a perfect scenario of, of cell phones helping with education, what would that look like? And then I want you to discuss how can you make that happen? How can you actually set up a classroom where so cell phones can be used only for good, where their power is not used for evil or distraction? How could you set up a classroom where the cell phones are used for good only? And what does that look like? If you can come up with the solution, I'm willing to implement that. But this is my fifth year teaching. I am yet to find a scenario where there's a good balance between using cell phones and not taking away from the class. And I'd like to get there if I can just figure out what that looks like. So you know better than I do because you're living in it. So put your heads together and discuss how could we actually make cell phones work for education in the school system, okay? And get away from the automatic fluffy stuff where you say, oh, well, we could play Kahoot and we learn from that. That's obvious. You could also do that on Chromebooks, right? So how could cell phones be an educational tool without damaging the learning that happens in the classroom, okay? Once you feel like you've knocked it out of the park as a group, present it to me. Whether you come up with a slideshow, if you wanna do an in-person presentation, then just call me over and I'll come meet with you. I'm gonna play devil's advocate and just push back against whatever you come up with because I want you to really push to come up with the best solution possible because this is something I would really like to figure out, okay? Have fun.